Now's not the time to be worrying about goblins. asked you to investigate. There was a large terror bird corpse, a broken blade plunged deep within it. Could it be the sword of someone who had tried to protect the carriages? The only clue as to its wielder is an unusual pattern engraved upon the blade. Robert might know more about the person who wielded the sword.
Hmm. Have you finished investigating the area? Tell me what you found. These ledges. These look like children's names. Look, this ledger says Vienta, and Lucille's name is checked off. That's the name of the child we're looking for. But there are other names that have been checked off here, too. Then, she isn't the only child they've kidnapped. Hmm, you're very thorough. A sword stuck in the corpse of a terror bird. Hmm? There was a pattern like this on the sword? Damn it. That's used by the Archeum Legion. Could they be responsible for all these kidnappings? We need to act fast. I discovered a wrecked cart in which I found a piece of a partly burned map. You know what that means, right? I'm going after those scoundrels. So please, take this map piece to Sophia in Vienta. She'll know what to do with it. Some of the survivors who fled Stoneguard Castle came back to Vienta Village to follow Jake Hander. Now, with a huge guild backing him, Jake Hander joined forces with Sienna Parsons, and the Stoneguard Allied Resistance was born here. So unless it's urgent, please come to me about it another time. In the missing child case right now. What did he say? So, it wasn't a simple missing child case after all. One moment. I found a piece of a map while searching around here too. If we put these two together... Oh dear. This shows the staging area of the Archeum Legion. I will inform Captain Da Vinci immediately, and we will stage a rescue. Thank you for your help. I'd better contact Robert and Rutane, too. He went to the staging area alone! That fool! Who knows how many Archeum soldiers will be there! I'm sorry to ask more of you, but could you hurry to the place on the map and help Robert? Knowing him... He might have jumped in already, though. Going alone may well get you killed. I will report to Captain Da Vinci as quickly as possible and lead reinforcements there. Much. Looking at the map, the place is over a stone bridge on the north side of the nesting grounds. I'll mark the exact location on your map. 
Robert realized that this was an Archeum Legion conspiracy. After locating the children by using a discarded map piece, he asked you to bring the clues to his colleague Sophia in Vienta, while he journeyed ahead to the Archeum hideout to ensure the children's safety. Sophia said she would gather reinforcements and asked you to go and assist Robert.
When you reach the arcade. Damn these. Huh? It's you. How did you follow me there? Where's your fear? Luckily, they weren't much of a challenge. It's thanks to you that I survived. Actually, no, I had it all under control. But why did you come alone? Oh, someone worries too much. A reinforcement's coming. Then go, save the children. Quickly, be careful. I'm sure there are still some soldiers inside. Well, you can hide behind me, if you like. The children must be deeper in. <sighs> Lost at Archeum. They kept children in such a foul place. Who goes there? Have you come here with a death wish? Damn, there are lots of them. This should be fun. Adventurer, just focus and... We'd better tidy things up here a bit first. Let's go. Everyone, stop them! Robert, you fool! Rushing in recklessly again with no regard to what's around me! Robert, <laughs> you're a sight for sore eyes. Now the Da Vinci is here... I can take it with I want an update on the situation. Did everyone make it out okay? Sure. You know I'm capable of that much, don't you? Running recklessly into the battlefield, you mean? Is that why you sent him first? Because you were worried about me? Oh, shut up. <sighs> it's more than just a hideout. This is Zeroth's secret base. Maybe we can find the one behind the kidnapping. Pardon my late introduction. I'm Da Vinci Aaron, leader of the Lasslin Allied Resistance Forces. Hurry and open it. Who knows what they've been up to in the meantime? I need to focus on my magic. Wait. Done. They're here. The children are locked up. Kill them all! Bring it all! Stay in formation!
must rescue the children immediately! The children are safe! I'll take responsibility for the children. Don't worry. This isn't over. We have to find Seroth. We've saved all the children, but it isn't over yet. These were all lower-ranked soldiers. The commander, Zeroth, must be around here somewhere. I see. Sophia, leave with the children. You, follow me. Take out Zeroth and rescue the children, thanks to you. But even with Zeroth's death, Kazar will never give up on Laslin. The Archeum Legion will be back. Many have gathered under the Resistance's banner to fight the Archeum. Brave, determined people, willing to risk their lives. People just like you. Uh, and humble, too. Rumors about you are already spreading through the newer- I've heard stories about a Starborn who'd come to Castleton, and has been going around helping everyone they could find lately. Is that you? I heard what happened on Wisp Island. What happened ten years ago, and how you went into a power frenzy. Many others in the Resistance also suffer because of this power, both from its side effects and from being hunted by Archeum. But that power has great potential, too. If you join us, it may be possible to realize that potential. What do you say? I look forward to seeing you in action. Everyone, escape safely, Da Vinci. Sophia will lead the children safely to the village. Let's head back. circle led you to the hideout of Zeroth, the last and commander of Archeum Legion. While you were fighting alongside Robert, 
Sophia came with Da Vinci and more resistant soldiers. You managed to defeat Zeroth and rescue the kidnapped children. Da Vinci explained that Kazar was behind all this and asked if you would join the resistance in their fight against the Archeum. Looking for a weapon to fight? Take a look. would drop right out of my... <clears throat> Never mind. Zeroth was the Archeum's commander, overseeing operations in Laslin. Thanks to you, the region will be safe for a while. They are really frightened, but everyone is fine. Nothing but a few minor injuries. It's all thanks to you and Robert for taking action so quickly. These plans for a kidnapping operation have the name Calanthea on them. Calanthea used to be a very infamous witch of Archeo. There were rumors that she died, so it's strange to hear her name again. Anyway, according to this, they're seeking children with star fragments to extract the power. You too? I wonder Captain Da Vinci seemed to be talking to you about it especially. I've also heard of that power. I had no idea the Archeum was so obsessed with it. Captain Da Vinci personally accepted you into the Resistance, so please, feel free to ask for help if you ever feel that you may be in danger too. The Resistance was created to fight the Archeum Legion. The truth is, Captain saved our lives when we were young. Retain, Robert, and I. We owe our lives to him, and we respect and admire him more than anyone else. When he saved us, I swore that when I grew up, the three of us would form a guild and become people who could be of service to him. Captain Da Vinci also encouraged us by gifting us a flag he kept with him from when he was a trainee so long ago. His support made us the force we are today. <laughs> well, thank you. But after experiencing what happened this time, I feel like the three of us alone aren't enough. I felt it even more deeply with you helping us. I think it's time for our guild to let go of the name The Terrific Trio. We are so much stronger when we stand together than when we stand alone. Our guild is greater than the sum of its members, just like Captain Da Vinci's resistance. Sophia congratulated you on becoming a member of the Resistance. She reflected on what an honor it was to be personally chosen by Captain Da Vinci, telling you the tales of her memories of being rescued by him as a child. She also revealed her ambition to create a larger guild in order to have the skills to stand side by side with her hero.
Stefan Lupius's army swept across Laslin. Sophia and Routine, siblings whose parents had died in the war, fled for their lives and lost their way in the spider forest. Their childhood friend Rob searched for them, at last discovering them hanging in a spider web deep in a cave. The three children struggled to undo the webs, but in the end, they were all captured by the owner of the cave, Morakai, who meant to feed them to his spiders. At the very moment they thought it was all over, they heard the clash of weapons outside the cave. Rutain's hero, Captain Da Vinci, had been tracking Morokai when he found the trail left by the children. Backed by resistance soldiers, he rushed to the rescue. The hand that reached out to them in that time of despair planted dreams of heroism in the children's minds, and they resolved to become just like Da Vinci, aiding those in need. Ten years later, the strong and ambitious warrior Sophia, the charming and agile hunter Robert, and the gentle and kind wizard Rutain became known as the terrific trio of the Resistance. Though the terrific trio possessed excellent skills and a strong sense of justice, they also endured an unhappy childhood. After Captain Da Vinci rescued them, they dreamed of following in his footsteps. Soon after, the terrific trio became known as the new heroes of the Resistance. to the resistance. Last I heard, they were helping patients on the outskirts of town. Perhaps they'll know something about where to find my husband. Goodness, what the heck is going on here? Oh, no. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Well, I was thinking of making some accessories while I'm here, but I left the materials at home. Drat. I was looking forward to making an entry in my lithograph book. Huh? You don't know what the lithograph book is? You can put equipment you don't use into the book and receive various upgrade materials. I heard that merchants from a faraway continent created this book to collect equipment in Silesium. Just a rumor, though. I feel like someone is watching me. Could it be one of my fans? Oh, this is so tiresome. Oh, you caught me. You must be pretty good if you managed to notice me watching. I'm Baze, from the Endless Collectors Association. Our organization is collecting every kind of equipment there is. In the beginning, we only collected tools crafted by the most decorated craftmasters. But we soon realized that no matter how insignificant the equipment, each has a piece of its crafter's soul in it. That's why we decided to collect everything in the world. We invented the lithograph book to help make that a little easier. With a tool like this one, anyone can lend a hand in collecting equipment. What do you say? Do you want to try it out? Sure, we'll accept anything. We don't care if it's new or old. It's even fine if you don't have the equipment on hand just yet. You're welcome anytime. 
Happy to have help from a capable adventurer like you. Thank you, in advance. When you have any unused equipment, check your lithograph book. Let's see, let's see. Where can I find some strong adventurers? Huh? Wait, wait! You, the dashing adventurer over there. How would you like to explore the unknown? I can draw a dimensional circle for you if you'd like. Dimensional circles are an ancient kind of magic. It's taken a long time and a lot of effort, but I finally managed to replicate it. There's so much I want to know about the world beyond the Dimensional Circle. But those monsters make it nearly impossible to do any research. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many close calls I've had. You seem strong enough. I bet you'd fare far better there than I have. And who knows what wonderful things you might discover while you're there. <laughs> Will you give it a try at least? I want to go find it myself, but I had an injury while escaping from the Dimension last time. And haven't recovered yet. Alas, what can I do? Without it, research on the dimensional circle will come to nothing. Oh, really? Thank you. You can probably find my research journal somewhere in the Spectres Abyss. There are many interesting things beyond the dimensional circle. Maybe you'll find something special. Instead, I recommend that, when entering the dimensional circle, you go with other colleagues. You are strong enough, but it's quite dangerous there. Well, Please take care of yourself. It would be better. What brings you here? It's me, Sophia. I've been incinerating the patient's contaminated belongings. Man, things are pretty bad right now. Anyway, what brings you here? Julio. Okay, got it. But I'm so busy right now that I'm not sure I can deliver it right away. Oh, right. Actually, now that you're here, would you mind helping me out a bit? We need to burn all the articles here, otherwise they could potentially spread the illness. Thanks for your help. Thank you. It all went smoothly, thanks to you. Oh right, the letter. You said the person who asked you to deliver it was named Romeo? Actually, it's Dr. Leonardis who's caring for all the patients sent outside town now. They've been quarantined, so I can't visit either. It will be faster if you discuss this letter with Dr. Leonardis, instead of me. Will you do that? He's in the clinic in Vienta Village Plaza. He's very busy looking after patients nowadays, but if you say I sent you, you should be able to meet him there. We, the Resistance, want to help, but Dr. Leonardis said there was a risk of spreading infection if many people got involved. So, this is as far as I can go. If you can, would you ask Dr. Leonardis if there's anything simple to be done? Groups are off limits, but 
Perhaps it will be different for you, Solo. The Resistance forces outside of town have been burning the belongings of epidemic patients. You met a woman wearing a mask that you didn't recognize, but soon realized she was Sophia, one of the terrific trio. After doing some work at her behest, you heard that letters could be delivered to the doctor in person and headed to the clinic. Now let's see. How much pain are you in? What? Then why are you here? I'm quite busy now, so if you're not here because you're injured, then please return later. Oh, Julio! I see. I'll deliver this letter, don't worry. Just be on your way now. Goodness, no. Leaving here quickly would be helpful. <sighs> Sophia worries over nothing. Then check on the patients here. And in particular, if any are hearing things, do tell me. because I can't stop coughing. My throat is so sore and my head is pounding. Yes, I do. I recently heard a strange noise at night, and nowadays I hear it during the day as well. Uh, I hope I'm discharged soon. The medicine Dr. Leonardus gave me is working wonders. Dr. Leonardus said if I take this green medicine as prescribed, I may hear things. But he said that's just a harmless side effect. The person who was next to me until recently had hallucinations so bad she talked in her sleep. But one day, I noticed she had been discharged. <coughs> Who's there? <coughs> My stomach still hurts, and I have a bit of a headache. Lately, I've been hearing strange noises at night. They wake me up, then it's difficult to get back to sleep. Still, I'm lucky. I initially came to the clinic because of a stomach ache, but Dr. Leonardus diagnosed me with this strange disease. So I was admitted. I took some of the green medicine he prescribed. If it hadn't been for Dr. Leonardus, I never would have known how sick I was. Did you meet all the patients? Did you check those who are hearing things? <laughs> it's finally begun. Thank you for your help. You may go now. Everyone has different symptoms, but it must be a plague. Can't you see they're conducting research to ensure the patient's symptoms don't worsen? Green medicine? What are you talking about? Cut the crap and get out! A doctor named Leonardus at the clinic seemed to really dislike visits from outsiders. He permitted you to help once he heard Sophia's name, but all the patients' responses to your questions seemed odd. You asked about the green medicine they all mentioned, and Leonardus immediately became angry and kicked you out. Oh, so you've been to the clinic. 
Well, I was going to ask anyway. Did you meet Dr. Leonardus? Really? Something suspicious occurred out of the blue. What happened? Oh, that green medicine. I've seen it. Dr. Leonardus was prescribing it for patients without even asking for a fee. So, there was never any epidemic? And it was all because of that green medicine? Dr. Leonardus lied? But why? Dr. Leonardus has always been a very dedicated physician here. Why would such a person do something like that? Yes, I trust your judgment. But will you hear the truth if you ask Dr. Leonardus? Hmm. I heard he leaves the clinic every night. Why don't you search it then? If this is true, it's no time to be picky about your methods. I'll investigate a different avenue, but please come to me immediately if you learn anything. Additional sacrifices procured. Conditions favorable. Fake epidemic plan successful. <laughs> Tonight the blood ritual will be performed there. The human's blood will be mine. And their bodies will become ghouls to serve me eternally! Sophia suggested you snuck into Leonardus's clinic at night and saw an unexpected sight. The patients were gone, and the person watching the place attacked you. You defeated him and discovered a journal that contained a plan to fake an epidemic so as to secretly gather human sacrifices. According to the journal, this blood ritual will be held tonight. Adventurer, what are you doing here? Oh, you're a step behind. She was here a moment ago. Sophia's investigators returned and reported their findings. She looked serious. She left this place to me and went away urgently. She said she was going to the wine storehouse near Vienta Vineyard. What's wrong? Huh? I don't know much about it, but it seems something big is happening. I'll contact Sophia's guild members first. You'll go to the wine storehouse and try to find Sophia, right? Uh, understood. You hurried to the plaza to tell Sophia what you had found at the clinic. But she wasn't there. A resistant soldier in the plaza said Sophia had received a report from an investigator and then quickly gone to the wine storehouse near Vienta Vineyard.
Sophia! Sophia! Who would do such a thing? I got the message and came here right away. What happened? What are these injuries on her neck? What? The, the blood ritual? It, it can't be. I've only read about that in books. And I thought vampires had disappeared long ago. If the blood ritual was really held here, even my magic will be useless. And Sophia will end up as a ghoul. The only way to cure her is to find and kill the one who made her this way. But the problem is, an ordinary human's power is no match for a vampire. So, there used to be people called vampire slayers long ago. Oh! Wait! Maybe we can use a guardian's pledge. I've heard that a vampire slayer's pledge was discovered near Stone Guard Castle. In simple terms, a pledge is imbued with the power of a hero from the past. Jake Hander, leader of the Stone Guard Resistance, is a famous Guardian's Pledge collector. He may have a Vampire Slayer's Pledge in his possession. Please do. You should be able to find him at Stone Guard Castle. If you intend to fight a vampire, you must borrow that Guardian's Pledge. I'll look after Sophia. Please hurry. If I know Jake Hander, he's sure to have that Guardian's Pledge. You can only borrow it. You went to the wine storehouse, but you were too late to stop the blood ritual. Rutain said that if you kill the vampire who attacked Sophia, you'd prevent her from being turned into a ghoul. To do that, you needed to borrow the Guardian's pledge belonging to a vampire slayer. Stone Guard resistance leader Jake Hander had it. the siege wall. Glad you're here, friend. Guess you have pretty high standards when it comes to weapons. Ah, goodbye. It. Do you have business with me? <laughs> You're a cheeky one. Who do you think I am? I'm Jake Hander. Are you here for a duel? I'll give you anything if you vanquish me. What? Sophia? So that's why you needed the Slayer's Pledge. If only she'd come on as a staff officer when I suggested it, this never would have happened. Her talents are too precious to let go to waste under that staid Da Vinci. If it was strong enough to vanquish Sophia, this vampire must be powerful. Even with your Guardian's Pledge, you're gambling with your life. Will you still do it? 
I like your boldness. Good. I'll give you the Guardian's Pledge of Ezekiel, the legendary Vampire Slayer. Once you activate the Guardian's Pledge, its Guardian will inhabit your body. But that alone is not enough. The memories of a Guardian are called Pledge Loops. The more Pledge Loops you can find, the stronger the Guardian will become. You'll need to find those first before you face this monster. Ezekiel's Pledge was found in the Temple of Silvith. You should go there first. Maybe the Guardian will show you around. Now, hurry. End that creature's life! Somebody. Sealed door. Temple of Silveth. The leader of Stone Guard's resistance forces was a cheerful man who felt somehow beast like. Once you had explained the whole story, Jake lent you the Guardian's pledge of legendary vampire slayer Ezekiel. But he advised you to find the pledge loop containing Ezekiel's memories in the Temple of Silivet to strengthen the Guardian first.
this happen? Lars, he did it! Oh. They will dog me to the end. I better get out of here soon.
to die now. My power is coming back. How dare you! Ezekiel's past. Leonardus killed Scala, Ezekiel's teacher and lover, and Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer out to have his revenge. As Jake said, you could tell that the Warden was becoming more powerful as you traced his life story. Being bitten by a vampire, Ezekiel was saved by Scala, the monster hunter. Despite now becoming a half vampire, Scala trained him to become a vampire hunter. Scala would later be killed by Baron Leonardus, a powerful vampire lord. Ezekiel vowed to avenge her. Over the course of decades, Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer. He found Leonardus and began a fight to the death. <laughs> but Leonardus was too strong. At death's door, Ezekiel used the last of his strength to draw a magic circle with blood and placed a Guardian's Pledge in its center. With his soul now infused in the Pledge, Ezekiel became a Guardian, protecting others from vampires. Ezekiel lost the battle with Leonardus, vowed an oath to get revenge, and became a guardian. With the power of the guardian's pledge, Ezekiel encountered Leonardus again, and finally repaid him for what happened to Scala.
must be somewhere over there. Huh? Hey, are you trying to climb up here? <laughs> you won't make it up here so easily. Unless any glider can fly all the way here. Any glider can fly all the way here in one go. If they take off from a high place like the You're back. What happened? That's really fortunate. It would have been terrible if Vienta Village or Sophia had been attacked. Thankfully, her condition's very much improved. Thank you so much. I owe a great debt to you and to Jake. Let me know if you ever need my help. Are you going to return the Guardian's pledge to Jake? Please, convey to him our gratitude. Want to see my old weapon? Oh, hold on a second. I need to transfer my old weapon's power first. Huh? Don't you know what a power transfer is? How did you even get this strong without it? Well, then you'll be even stronger once you know how to do it. Come here. I'll teach you. Transferring power is a way to enhance a new piece of equipment using old equipment you've upgraded. It's much more efficient than upgrading brand new equipment bit by bit with growth stones. That's why it's so important to upgrade all your equipment regularly, because it'll make for good transfer material for future gear. Oh, and don't forget, the target equipment must be of the same or higher grade as the material equipment. Okay, enough talk. Give it a try. You spoke with Robert, who was excited about his newest weapon. He showed you how to efficiently strengthen your weapons using a process called power transfer. With his advice, you can make your weapons even more powerful. You're safe. I heard the story from Rutain. 
Thank you so much. I feel much better, thanks to you. I'll be sure to repay the favor sometime. for a monostone known as the Golem's Heart. That's right! The Golem's Heart is a powerful monostone. It is said to have the power to control giant golems capable of destroying fortress walls. Oh, is that so? The Archeum Legion plans to make a secret weapon with that power. We have to find the Golem's Heart first, before they get their hands on it. How do you like it? For now, go meet Henderson in the Vienta Vineyard. He knows a great deal about Da Vinci says you are the right person for this mission. Good luck. Delicious food and oh, welcome. Have a great day. Choi, what kind of weapon are you looking for? Ocean. Oh, wait, that's not it either. What is it? Sorry, but no performances for the time being. Golem's Heart. The name rings a bell, but I can't remember what it refers to. Before I became a bard, I hit my hand hard during a resistance mission and began to lose my memory. In order to remember everything, I wrote a song about my adventures. Everyone called it the Song of the Vienta Dwarves. Worst part is I ended up forgetting the lyrics. I lost my sheet music, and I can't even perform now. If I knew anything about this golem's heart you speak of, it definitely would have been contained in the lyrics. I'm sorry I can't help you. Hmm. Oh, oh no! Uh, there was a guy named... Uh, what was it? Car... Oh, Carvenet! He came and sang along at every concert. He might have memorized the lyrics. <sighs> I heard people saw him around the desert black market. Uh, please, find out the lyrics for me. If you do, I'll help you out any way I can. Henderson recorded his adventures in the form of songs a long time ago. If he ever knew anything about the Golem's heart, there would be clues in his lyrics. The problem is, he took a bad hit to the head in the past, and he said he doesn't remember the lyrics anymore because of it. However, it's possible Carvane, a longtime fan of his, might know. 